Yo, what's up, y'all? This is a reminder for the giveaway I'm doing. I want every one of you dudes to enter in on it, to have a chance on winning the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One gift cards of $20. Remember, that's going to be on this channel. Turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter. And I'm also going to let you know, I'm not going to look for you guys. If, if the, when, the, when the winner's picked, remember, you know, you're subscribed to this channel. Make sure you turn on notifications. I don't want you guys missing out on your prize. But, yeah, this is episode 20 of Gaming Talk. Please enjoy. Thank you. Yo, what's up, y'all? This is the next part of Gaming Talk, episode 20. I'm here with my boys Fresh and Nardy. They're still here. And their channel has a link in the description. So check them out there. The last topic of episode 20 of Gaming Talk is if you could play any game, any game, Right now, what would it be? First, we're gonna we're gonna start with you. Any game, any mother help me game. Any game that you can think of, even past, present, future, ball. or something that doesn't exist. Even if it's curveball or dodgeball. Man, if it's that, that's a little bit sad. You can go outside and do that, bro. Yeah. Honestly, I want to play. Oh. Uh. I was gonna say Friday the 13th, but I wanna play <laughs> Cyberpunk oh. 2077. I'm done. That's what I wanna play. Yep. The open world futuristic GTA killer. That's what I would I wanna play that. Mm. I'm done. Mm. I am done. This game has been in the works for years. Oh. and they said it they said it's coming out when it's ready. I like that. Mm. I like that. No no specific release date, not saying 2018, yeah. not even saying coming soon. They said when it's ready. That's when they will release. I'm mm. done. Mm. Mm. And they don't know. Some people don't know about Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah. Um, and CD Projekt Red's uh, project they've been working on, you know, beside The Witcher 3. Uh, glad they done. They finished The Witcher 3, all the expansions, so they could just focus on that one game. And it, it, I, I already can tell right now it's going to be amazing. Mm. Um, there's some, the, the guy, he sounded like James Earl Jones. Oh. Uh, he, talk, he was talking about the game. And how how amazing it's gonna be! You gotta and it's gonna raise text. the bar. And it's gonna, yeah, I'm, I sent you the uh, link already. You did? I, I did. And they said, yeah, I sent you the link. Hmm. I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna send it to you again if you ain't get it. But um, they said the game is supposed to release around next year or uh, between 2017 and 2021. I can't wait to play that game. So Cyber Cyberpunk's 20 2077. I want to play that. That's my game. I would like to play. I like it. I like it. That after playing The Witcher, oh man, now I'm thinking about The Witcher in Neo mode, aka Pro mode. Anyway, um, after playing The Witcher, um, that you know, uh, uh, the people behind that making a, a sci-fi. That's my favorite genre, a sci-fi genre. That's the, you know what I mean. Like I like I like Mass Effect. As Mass Effect and Drama, and now I'm thinking about the press conference again. Anyway, um, I like I like sci-fi, and if the um the next game from C CD Project Red, um look, man, I, I'm excited too. Time, time. I just want I just want to uh, say this: um, fifteen Skyrim maps, fifteen. That's how mm. big the game gonna mm. be, and five times bigger than The Witcher. Mm. Five. Mm. I'm done. That's crazy, man. That is wild. And everyone here played The Witcher three. And it's society. And it's society. You got cities, towns, all that. Yes, yes. Social. No mm. excuses. No excuses. What, what, what? Um, what, what? Uh, they, they excited for the pro? They like, in, in the Scorpio, they, they're like, yes. Yeah. They're like, yeah, need, actually, they're uh, like, we need these. In the article, <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, actually, in the article, they actually hire some people to work on the, um, you know, the cars and the flying cars and the bikes and stuff yeah. like that for the yeah. game. Uh, so they hired new people for you know to make them. I'm done. Yeah, man. I, yep. I, I, I took my head off to that pick. Going to Naughty. Naughty, if you play any game made up, real, <coughs> past, present, and future, what would it be? NBA 2K17. Well, no. that's, that's the end of episode 20. You know, we we all just, no man. <laughs> 20 really? That's your pick. You can play. You can play NBA yes, 2K17 right now. You got the 2K16. It's the same thing. Huh. Oh yeah, it's 
Nah, I told you, I got you it pre-ordered, it. but I, I can't play it until no, the release. No, you played NBA 2K16, the same thing, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, you asked me a question, I gave you an answer. You right. I'm just you making a joke out of your answer. You probably, uh, you can get in your car and drive to your basketball games. That's what you can do. I'm done. Let me say this. Why you want to play that game? Explain. Um, I've been anticipating this game uh, for like three, four months now. And uh, my appetite for it has increasingly grown exponentially. exponentially mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think that I'm going to be great at it. So I'm tweaking to oh. um, prove myself right. So, uh, yeah. Hey, that's so we should all should get an Xbox One. We can play you, and we we gonna trash you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know about trashing me, cause I'm not. I'm. I'm I'll just give up. I'll leave. I, I, you fun. know, fun. I don't like. I don't like the uh, movement physics in that game. I like more arcadey basketball games. That game is too realistic. Like, if I want to play real life basketball, I'll go outside. But. Yeah, like when I play oh, games, man. I want it arcade. <laughs> like my driving That's games, I don't want to play no realistic play. driving game sim. I hate those. Those are so yeah, boring. <laughs> I, I want my real, I want my real sports arcade. Look, look, but not a, you can play basketball, but you're not real basketball. I go outside and play basketball. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But but you ain't you're not as good as AI though. I'm, no. I'm not as good as the AI, but it's better exercise and you actually breathe, man, outside yeah, in the but fresh two, air. Yeah, 2K fun, though. Like, let me say that. Yeah, no, you got a, to me. You got somebody, a, a good match with somebody, a close game. Yeah, that's one of the best times. Like, 2K is worth it. I think For 2K, really. you you would love uh, if you really got into it again fresh. Like, seriously, like, you talk about detail. Like, NBA, uh, in, or at least 2K, they're all about the NBA detail. And to me... Nah. You lose me. You lose me when you talk when you when you do like detail. Like if Destiny had well Destiny do, but Assassin's Creed, you go to that, right? If you can go and prone on Assassin's Creed and stuff, that's a lot of detail that adds to the game and it's a it's fictional, right? It's fake. Um like, no. like you know, NBA, you know, when you move the analog stick to the right, you want them to literally move to the right, that haptic feedback, you want it boom to the right. But no, he got an animation yeah, to move to the right. I'm like, no, just move to the right, and it makes you I feel move to the right it, it, it's very I, like, realistic. Somebody controlling you, you gotta walk every step. Ain't no sliding on the ground. That's what like I want. That. I want. I want arcadey basketball. I want NBA home court. That one game Naughty had NBA with Camelo Anthony. Oh, yeah. Camelo Anthony was in there, uh, jumping all high and junk. You know, well, yeah, you're right. Remember them game breakers and all that. I love Not that. NBA people, Jam. Uh, NBA Jam. Yeah, man. Double dunk and all that. Man, that's, I'm done. I'm about that. I'm about that. Yeah. I, and Blitz. I, yeah. Remember Blitz? Oh, yeah. Home court. Yeah. Remember, remember Blitz? Home court. That was my game. Remember Blitz too? Blitz too, man. Yeah, Blitz too. Yeah, man. I love They don't Blitz. make games like that no more. No, because everybody wants realism. They want realism. Nah, man. Yeah, you talking man. about details, Jay? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Let me say this. The crowd looks sorry. Every uh, game, the crowd looks sad. No, nah, that's... Man, that forget crowd, that. I'm talking about gameplay. Nah, nah. You can't... Uh, they, that, nah, those, those ugly people don't graphics. affect you. No, I didn't say you graphics. You said graphics and detail. I said detail. You said detail. Yes. Yeah, but the crowd... Why the crowd look like I'm that? I'm talking about gameplay details. The wearing the same shirt. I don't care if they wear the same shirt. They're throwing the same sign up. A crowd... They should have voice actors in the crowd. I'm done. Not just... <sighs> Let me pick my game and we can move on to uh, out. <laughs> actually, this is actually I like talking about um, sports with you guys because at the end of the day, you know, I really don't talk about uh, sports games on this channel. But yeah, you know, realism versus arcadey. That's me for 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 a fact. Right in the comment section, do you agree with me or Naughty and Fresh? Um, which ones? Which side? Arcade or realism? Do y'all want the the painstakingly detailed? animations that 2k gives you or do you want that home court nba jam and blitz type stuff no, the crowd looks sad. stop it moving on to me look <laughs> the game i would play i would want to play right now let me say this man i, I want to play it now fresh and that's days gone um like 
I want to see this game in action now. Like, it, it looks like The Last of Us open world. And I really want to play this thing. And them re re showing it at the um the meeting the meeting the places you're meeting, you know it wasn't nothing like oh wow you know like oh man I want to play this right now it was it showed definitely impressive stuff that was going on, on the screen but I, I but why I want to play it now is because you know I think people sleeping on it because it's a zombie game right like oh man we got enough of that listen to be honest y'all on, on PlayStation we don't really have a lot of zombie games like talking about it. You know, what I mean, like, like Dead Rising is finally coming to um, PlayStation, the one, two, and off the record one, um, and people are thinking that the fourth one is coming over too. Like that's rumors, but I don't think the third uh, one's gonna come over. I think Microsoft got that locked. But um, another zombie game is Dead D no, D D Dying Light. Dying Light. Um, I never played that Dying Light game, even though I know I oh. probably, I probably would really enjoy it even because I love first person. I got beat it. That's good. That's good. Yeah, beat it up. But um, as far as as far as the zombie game, I'm really <laughs> comparing everything to. Boy, you laugh. <laughs> what? This man laughing, yo. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Let me say this. State of the cave. That's the zombie it? game I compare yeah. all zombie games to. So, looking at Days Gone being a third person. Um, open world zombie survival game, and I know. Look, you know, I mean, it's not state of decay, right? Like, I, it's, Days Gone is not gonna be state of decay, at least as far as I know. You're not gonna be able to control a community or whatever. Permadeath ain't gonna be in it. Hope the story is on point. If it's another zombie survival story, then it's gonna probably get stale as story goes. Cause let me say this about state of decay. Even though it's one of my favorite games, the story is kind of um sorry. I'm not gonna lie. Fresh. Ah! The story on State of Decay is kind of sorry, but the, your story on the game is amazing. That's what is the um, saving grace of State of Decay. The, everything else about the game is amazing. So, Days Gone, the first big zombie game I'm looking at that's going to hit the PS4. Um, really the first new zombie game that's third person on PS4. Um, I can't remember nothing else. Oh, well, Days Gone. No, well, not Days Gone. Um, well, I, I would kind of say The Last of Us. Uh, uh, the, the Last of Us is mostly of a human conflict in the in the infected people are like the sprinkles on top. In my yeah, but that's not zombies, though. They said they, Days Gone, they're not zombies either. they infected. Yeah, they're infected. That's what I just said. But in yeah, a way, I, it feels like a zombie. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> say what? Yeah, the dude over days gone said the people are not zombies. They they um they alive. They're not dead. Yeah, they're living creatures. They're called freakers. And look, I don't care if it look like a zombie, smell like a zombie. It is a zombie, man. It sounds like a zombie. Look, I'm gonna call it zombie. I, I don't know who gonna say get them freakers off me. Like I don't know that they're trying to make something new. They're trying to be cute. But uh, anyway, look, at the oh. end of the day, days gone is my pick for what games I would like to play. I right now but what is your pick viewers let me know in the comment section what would what game would you like to play right now we would love to read it now guys we have reached the end of gaming talk episode 20 let's do our outros viewers stay tuned all right guys we are at our outros it, 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 it's been a very interesting and fun and, and and i enjoyed this episode of gaming talk let me say this if, if this is the first time in gaming talk where we have a part that's an hour in in whatever minutes long, man. So there you go. That's your special tweet. Oh, I said tweet treat. Oh, what naughty like that's some bull. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, listen though. That was the first ever. I I let that I let that um part just pew. An hour. That's an hour, bro. Anyway though, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Bro. But this is the outros. Naughty, say bye to the people. Well, yeah, episode 20. Another one gone. <clears throat> it's been um one crazy ride today, I ain't gonna lie. Episode 20. Yeah. <laughs> been a long journey. Uh, <laughs> I remember we was just talking about certain consoles coming out and now today they are all among us. <laughs> they are among us. Um, no. 
And, well, at uh, least at least um one of them. People people salty. I ain't gonna lie. People salty, but they just don't want they just don't want let it be seen. I understand. Ah! It. But you know, you know, you know, riding a bike when they down, nothing like that. But um, yeah, we got a lot of good good information out the way. We learned a lot about each other <clears throat> and each other's opinion and views. Yeah, so uh, I guess we could say we had a great game and talk, and uh. It all went well. Nobody left the chat <clears throat> uneasy. Uh, <laughs> you know, no no more friends. Whoa. So I guess you just, oh. it, it's all good. It thank is. You. All good. Appreciate you. Hey, and thank until you for, next time. Thank you. Thank you. Nardy thank Nardy. you. Thank you for being part of this episode, Nardy Nard. Uh, for such a last minute request. I was trying to get him yesterday, guys. Trust me, he didn't pick up. But fresh. It's a shame. Say bye to the people. It's your boy Prince the Gamer signing out. Uh, it was a good episode. This is, this is gonna be one of the ones I'm gonna remember and uh, you know listen to in the next like three months. Cause I, this was funny. It was fun. It was funny. Like Darty said, it was a heck of a ride. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, episode twenty. And uh, y'all already know we're gonna we're gonna have to pray for Microsoft. You know to um, you know recover from this L they about to take. <laughs> and, <laughs> No, it's all love though. No, um, PC people. Like for that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking, y'all. But all the PC people and all that. Like, look, everybody just need to calm down, relax. We all gamers at the end of the day. It's all love, nothing serious. Don't take it personal. Everybody just enjoy the games that you plan. Slim PS5 4.0. I don't care what it is. Just enjoy the games you plan. And uh, yeah, I see y'all. I see y'all later in 21. Let me say this. We ain't doing S series, are we? No, we're on just straight up twenty. Um, we still doing S series. No, I'm saying we kinda, we're not doing it next time, right? Yeah, twenty S is next week. But um, but let me say this: you said PS Five. If you're in the future playing PS Five, let us know in the comment section below. How is it? <laughs> is it nice? Anyway, um, that's all she wrote. This has been raw coming at you raw. Pieces. All right, y'all, we are at our next part of Gaming Talk, episode 20, and it is New IPs, Biggest Mistakes. 